When you think of Sichuan food, the first thing that comes to mind is probably how spicy it is. But there's so much more to Sichuan than just red hot chili peppers. There is also food that's sweet, savory, pungent, and umami. And you can find them all at fly restaurants. Sichuan's own version of hole in the wall eateries. We're in Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan province in southwestern China. On these bustling streets, fly restaurants like these are where locals go for a quick bite. My name is Jenny Gao, and I've been exploring Sichuan food as a writer and cook for about 10 years. I was born in Chengdu, but grew up moving around quite a bit. Fly restaurants are an iconic fixture of Chengdu's food scene. I feel like it's really at the heart and soul of the food culture because it is all about home-cooked food with big flavors and the term is given by locals to places that are usually hole in the walls, um, usually hidden, hard to find, with zero atmosphere and questionable hygiene. Jenny took us on a food crawl of her favorite fly restaurants. First stop, Chengming Liangfen, where they have a unique way of serving food. So Chengming Liangfen, this restaurant has been here for several decades now. Um, it's become legendary in the area. The food is wheeled out on sort of like a wheelbarrow and it's sort of a free-for-all. Once the food comes out, people just grab what they want from the cart. This dish is like the most famous dish here. It's the super simple, but I think one side is like mung bean, one side is yellow split pea, and it's got like a sauce of doubanjang chili oil, sugar, MSG. <laughs> um, and then this is one of my favorite dishes here. It's really unique. Um, it's called Tian Shao Bai. It's basically stewed slices of pork belly that are filled with a red bean paste in between and then steamed with glutinous rice with sugar on top. This is a salad made with zurigan, which is a herb that's grown in the mountains of Sichuan. It's quite unique to this climate, especially with like chili sauce and made into a salad. It can be really refreshing on a hot day. Next, we went for noodles at one of Sichuan's oldest fly restaurants. Yeah, this restaurant is, um, I think it's over 100 years old. They're famous for a few different things, and I think their best item is a sweet water noodle. But it's not really, it's not really sweet, um, and it's also there's like no water. <laughs> it's a dry noodle, but it um, it has a sweeter and spicy profile. The sweet water noodle is usually a sesame paste, a garlic slurry, um, a sweetened soy sauce, and chili oil, and then also a little bit of MSG, um, a sprinkling of citron pepper on top. I think like after years of training, they just like know exactly with a flick of the wrist how much to put on. What makes these noodles unique is that it's actually served cold. Um, and it's really chewy and al dente, which is quite different from most other noodles in China. So we're at a restaurant called Chunyang Guan Mian. And this is a fly restaurant that was founded, um, I think about 20, 30 years ago. It's famous actually for a noodle and their wontons. So these are fish fragrant pork and pickled string bean noodles. In case you're wondering, fish fragrance is a mix of ingredients meant to imitate the flavor of fish it doesn't actually have any fish in it. This one is the Komo wontons, and it's served with a red chili oil sauce. Komo is a type of mushroom that's grown in the Mongolian highlands that is used a lot in Sichuan cooking to add like a really deep earthy umami. And our food crawl would not be complete without trying Sichuan's most famous dish, Mapo Dofu. So this place we're at is called Chen Mapo Dofu where they allegedly invented mapo dofu. So apparently it was an old lady by the name, last name of Chen who was pockmarked like on her face but was known for making this really fiery tofu. 
It is cubes of silken tofu cooked in a sauce of fermented fava bean paste, soy sauce, chili oil, lots and lots of Sichuan pepper, usually with a sprinkling of like ground beef or pork on top. It's most perfectly served over a bed of white rice. Yeah, it's a meal in, in itself. After a day of eating all this delicious food, we were itching for dessert. So we went for bing fun, a cold jelly topped with syrup. It's the perfect way to cool down after eating so many spicy dishes. Bing fun is a really famous summertime snack in Chengdu, and it's super cooling. It's actually a jelly that's made from an herb, like a seed, that they grind into powder and set with like a gelatin-like substance. Served usually with like a brown sugar syrup, or in this case, rose syrup. You can see the preserved rose petals in there as well. The most important part is that the flavor is delicious and it's so good that it keeps people coming like flies. And so that's sort of a nod to the self-deprecating humor of the Chengdu people. And also just that flavor trumps everything. It doesn't matter what the environment is as long as the food is delicious. I felt like in the West, people knew Sichuan food as just the stereotypical extremes, like the diabolic heat or the face-numbing spice. It's easy to caricaturize these extremes and miss the subtleties that are underneath. In modern day Chengdu, when things have changed so quickly and people of all socioeconomic backgrounds are still coming to the same fly restaurants and sharing a table on the sidewalk with like broken stools and are still able to enjoy a delicious meal together. And that's the spirit of Sichuan, I think, embodied.